Alright, so now that the CHRA, Center Housing Rotating Assembly, has been rebuilt, I'm going to go ahead now and reassemble the turbo and all of its parts. And also make sure that you get a Banks Gasket Kit. It's part number 93312. It doesn't cost that much and you will be very grateful to have all the new gaskets and seals and grommets that come with it. We have an oil drain grommet, a um, intake hat gasket, uh, oil input o-ring, uh, another o-ring, I forget what type that goes to, and the uh, oil input gasket there. And if, if you've had your truck for a while or if you're installing a new system, you're going to want to have all these components ready to go. You don't want to use old O-rings, old gaskets and grommets because they can prematurely fail due to being old, cracked, worn, etc. Let's go ahead and pick up one of these kits. It's not that much. Just give banks a call. Go on their website. Um, I just called them and gave them the part number and asked for them to send it to me. Um, and it came in pretty quickly. So no problem there. Now the next thing I'm going to do before I reassemble everything is just do some cleaning with some brake parts cleaner. Get this intake housing a little bit cleaner. Not sure if you can see down in there, but there's a bunch of CDR blow by, some old oil and crap like that everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that up as best I can. And also clean in this roof here where the snap ring goes for the intake housing. And uh, clean your snap ring for the intake housing if you can just so that it makes good contact you don't have to worry about it any, anytime soon um, and that's about all I'm going to do before I reassemble it the exhaust housing I'll probably try and clean up the mating surfaces here around where it connects to the CHRA just so that I don't have any leaks because there's chunks of crap and exhaust and carbon and stuff in here that's about it. I might even clean up the uh, exhaust side there if you can see it down there just so I have a good seal when I install this turbo. I don't want any exhaust leaks because that will lead to reduced boost pressure and uh, just more of a, a pain in the neck whenever I go to install this. I want it to be as clean and seamless as possible because installing and uninstalling a turbo is not something I really feel like doing. It's kind of an involved process. But uh, here's the center housing. Got rubbing against that exhaust shield, but that'll get that'll get pushed up against the housing here once I install the uh, that band clamp there. But as you can see, it spins nice and freely. That's what I'm looking for. The real test will be after I install on the truck and get it to boosting levels and see if it makes any odd noises or anything like that. If it does, then we'll have a problem, but I'm not expecting that. I think this rebuild went pretty well. Um, of course, I will be updating you as I test it once I install it on the truck. It might be a little while, but uh, it's in the plans. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of these things and then I will show you the reassembly process and I will be uh, demonstrating the reassembly of these new O-rings and gaskets that apply to the actual turbocharger, things like the oil drain grommet and uh, the intake housing O-ring here. Those will be installed on the truck separately from this installation of the turbo. I may or may not record that. It's going to be an involved process. I don't have a cameraman, a tripod, or anything, so it might just be one of those. Well, here's a rebuild video. Good luck installing it. But uh, I will report back when I get this all cleaned up.